So do you know what this is? So this is a lake. If we go to see a lake, you see the, the water surface is so calm and peaceful, no waves, so we can enjoy beautiful scene. So this is like a Buddha's mind. Always peaceful, calm, tranquil, and compassionate. So calm and peaceful surface of the water. And how about the, my mind? It's like a yeah, small wave is there. It's like my reaction, my emotions, yeah, small waves. But this can be yeah, kind of getting bigger wave. And then more can be bigger and then bigger. More getting upset, anger, and then can be like a more like a waves. Yeah. So this is my mind. I try to keep my mind peace and then calm. However, when the situation doesn't go as I wish, when I hear something not good words by others, and then it makes my mind changing, changing. Yeah? So it's like uh, always changing and then changing depending on my convenience. Yeah. So my mind continued to sometimes so like a uh, big waves, but uh, after talking to friends or eating good meals and they can feel relaxed. Oh, good. Now more smaller waves. However, yeah, can be suddenly something happens and then again return to more big waves. So no ending. My mind is unfortunately or naturally changing, changing. So therefore, when if I or a person begin to realize, oh, that is my mind changing, changing. What happens in my mind in our life is, yeah. Oh, I want to be like you. The aspiration, I want to be like you. I want a peaceful life. I want happiness. But when I see my life situation, I cannot do that. Therefore, aspiration, I want to be like you. So this is the beginning of the uh, Buddhism teaching. And then makes more sense. Yeah? If a person doesn't have any attitude, I need guidance. Could be Buddhism teaching doesn't resonate in person's life. Only when we do have an aspiration, I want to be like you. And then Buddha's mind begins to teaching us. So therefore we say, we call, we recite, I go to the Buddha for guidance. This showing the, our aspiration. Now I can, or I begin to recognize my mind is changing, changing. I want to be like you. I need a guidance. And then we say, I go to the Buddha for guidance. Also now you can see the girl, she planting a seed of flower, yeah? So, like a small uh, sprout, as we take care of the uh, flower, growing, growing water, and put a good soil. And then we can see process of the growing from the seed to the we can see like some small bud. We can see the process of growing. And then finally, flower blooming. And then when a flower is blooming, yeah, we can see more life, beauty coming to the flowers. So we can see uh, this seed is a cause. This is a cause. And then effect is having a flower blooming. So cause and then effect we can see. And then there is a condition, uh, people take care of the flowers, water, pull out the uh, weeds. And then because of the conditions of maintenance, or good, good care, finally we can have an effect. So cause and effect with conditions. And then so therefore yeah, in our life too, effect is a bittersweet result. And then why do I have a bittersweet is? Yeah, attachment. The cause is uh, my attachment, my desires. So therefore, because of this causal, because of this attachment as a cause, 
I do experience bitter sweet as an effect. What it means is yeah, if no attachments, which means yeah, no more bitter sweet. So instead of attachments, if we can have receive virtues, virtues help us to bring us to the closer or attain enlightenment as an effect. So again, we can see cause and effect as a basic yet fundamental concept of Buddhism. And then therefore, Buddha often tells and then share, cultivate the mind. Yeah. Cultivate the mind like a garden. Yeah. If we plant a seed, yeah, if we don't take care, we may not be able to have a beautiful flower, plenty weeds. Yeah. But if we cultivate the garden nicely and with a Love and then kindness, we can have a beautiful flowers. Yeah, same as uh, my mind, our mind, yeah. If I let my mind be as it is, angry, upset, frustration, sad, or depression, yeah, my mind is like a garden without uh, good caring. But if we cultivate the mind with good caring, loving, kindness, compassion, peace, and then calm, and then we can have a enlightenment guided by virtues of the Buddha. So we can see at a home, working place, group, community, anywhere, if I, if I can continue to cultivate the mind, what it means is that through my what I say, what I think, what I do, coming from my our mind. Therefore, if we can keep it in mind, my mind is the one who is creating bittersweet caused by attachments. So therefore, understanding enlightenment to become a Buddha freed from desire and suffering as my guidance, if we can be mindful, my action, my mind. So therefore, this becomes, therefore, I go to the Dharma Sangha for guidance. I go to the Dharma means the Buddha the teaching as my guidance. I want to receive, I want to attain enlightenment. How I can do that? You get to cultivate the mind. How I can cultivate the mind? Learn and then listen to the Buddha the teaching. And there also there is a Sangha, community or group who worship, who listen to the same teachings. Therefore, we try to help each other so that each person can practice the virtues of Buddha, can practice what we listen, what I learn. Therefore, we say we go to the Sangha for guidance so that we can support each other, feel you and me also go to the Buddha and then Dharma for guidance.